Okay. Is it on already? Yes. Is it recording already? Yes. <clears throat> Hello, people on YouTube. This is Caffeine Jedi. I haven't seen, made a video in a while, but I'm trying to make videos more consistently now. I am hopefully getting a new camera, and thus will change a lot of things, like actual editing and the like, in future videos. So, uh, look forward to that. Um, so uh, I'm also going to attempt to do some sub whoring because I haven't gotten any new subscribers in a while, possibly because I just haven't made enough videos recently. So um, things are going to change a little bit soon. Look forward to that. Um, I also wanted to ask, um, because I'm doing some changes in my video, I want to do some more like actual editing and effects and shit in the background and shit. Uh, I need music. So do you or anyone you know make any kind of music. I have no preference. I, I'll basically use whatever I can get, um, preferably for free. I'm sorry, I'm like pretty much not really making a lot of money off my ad revenue right now. Um, I don't mind buying albums, like if you want me to buy your album and I'll promote it, that's cool, or song, or whatever, but if you want to send me anything, or you know, you know anyone who's good that you would suggest, that's cool. I'd appreciate it. Thanks. So, um, what can I tell you? So, uh, recently went to see Infected Mushroom. So, um, if you don't know Infected Mushroom, uh, they're kind of like a little bit of a techno-y band. Um, they're from Israel. Um, I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, but they're from Israel. And, um, it was an overall enjoyable experience, but, um, I'm going to link my favorite song, by the way, at the bottom of this, so uh, feel free to t check them out and see what you think. Um, but besides that, um, what can I say happened? Oh yeah, so I go to this place, and I go here sober. Now if you listen to this music, you realize it was made for a certain altered state of consciousness, um, which I was not in. I was completely sober. And as a sober person, you make sober observations of the things around you at certain concerts. So, I was in this kind of amphitheater thingy club, whatever the fuck mix it was. Uh, it was called Electric Brixton. This is in London. So, um, I'm there and, um, and everybody's having a cool time and that's fun and, and I'm okay with people having fun. That's awesome. But, uh, I made a very small list of what I find not to be okay in a certain atmosphere such as this. And so, um, I'll begin with the, the very, very, very tall people. And I have nothing wrong with tall people. Nothing against tall people. If you're tall, good for you. I am five feet tall. And I don't mind tall people being at concerts. What I do mind is my ass waiting in a fucking queue for an hour to get in early enough to get in a fucking, you know, certain area so I can actually visually see things. Only to have a giant ass ogre of a person squeeze me to the side and then fucking stand right in front of me. Right in front of me. Do not move. Just You found the perfect spot, right? Just like literally two inches fucking in front of me. I did not come here to see your goddamn shoulders. Okay? God damn it. So, that a little bit pissed me off, but it's not as severe as I think my second one. Second thing that bothered me was the people who like treat the fucking dance floor as their personal mosh pit. There is nobody else in a mosh pit here, but just there'll be that one fucking guy flailing elbows up like their goddamn boomerangs. And you know, for a short person, elbows are fucking terrifying. That shit like, pew, right in front of my nose, pew, right above my eye, holy shit. And they're fucking like, you know, obviously high as a fucking kite, but you know, that's beyond that. Not only are they doing this little fucking weird elbow dance, like they're half raving, like they couldn't rave with their hands, so they just do it with their fucking elbows. They also are wearing these goddamn giant ass steel toe boots, which they decide, hey, let's do some crazy ass karate kicks everywhere. Oh, oh, oh. Like, it looks like they wanted to be in a mosh pit, but they were the only one doing this. 
And you're in a fucking place where, like, you know, it's so crowded. There's, like, literally, you know, there's, you're touching everybody. Touching people at your front, people on the side, people behind you are touching you. You know, there, there's not much movement here. This is one of those situations where, you know, if a fire broke out, yeah, I, I would probably not survive. But I'm at a concert, I'm enjoying myself, but when the fucker who breaks out in the goddamn one-man mosh pit, better fucking stop it. Jesus fucking Christ. So, my third problem is, uh, it's not such a big problem, but, you know, the smelly people. I get it. It's hot. It's crowded. You sweat. Everyone sweats, but... You must have known you were coming here. Did you not think to just put on maybe an extra layer of deodorant? Fuck it, put it on your face, your back, wherever, because people were sweating left and right. Whew. But that's, uh, that's all I can say. Actually, those are my three only complaints you might be asking. Why am I complaining when in general I had a good time? Look at the channel's fucking thing. It's tag. It says, Steph loves to bitch. That's what I do. Bitching. It was great though. I had a really good time. I enjoyed the show. Um, the music was good. It was fun. My ass was jumping up and down too. But I didn't fucking hit anybody with my elbows. I might have been able to hit somebody in the dick. Kind of short. Maybe a really tall person. Bam. Alrighty, people. See ya.